Among the most striking changes that Ye's team first documented was a shift in the timing and duration of the breeding season. On Mount Laguna, cold winters and hot summers restrict junco breeding from May to early June, with only a single brood of offspring raised each season. At UCSD, however, juncos start nesting in February and continue well into August, raising up to four broods. This dramatic adjustment of breeding schedule has had cascading effects on many other traits. And this uh, tendency to stay all year round and to have multiple families each year seems to have led to a suite of characters that make males much more interested in raising young than they do in chasing after mates. And we found, for example, that the males themselves are less aggressive to each other. Uh, importantly, that both the males and the females have less white in their tail, and white is used as an aggressive display. They have less black in their head, which is another signal of aggression used in displays. The males are better parents at the nest, as was shown by Jonathan Atwell. So there's a whole suite of characters that have evolved, we feel, in response to the longer breeding season. But over on top of that, we've got pressures or changes that have happened in response to the urban environment. 